if this is your first time to my channel please hit like and subscribe tell your friends about the page so i can grow her in 2020 what is the difference between a short radiator and a tall radiator when it comes to model t's well this one right here is 1917 so about roughly early 1923 this one's from late 23 to uh, 27 notice there's a slight difference that that and plus it was made by a different company notice the spacings between that and the long stretched out spaces between that uh, this was different that was different but they kept the same aspects of these the round tubes and it was pretty much the same basic structure of that the neck and that the neck I have to fix these things right here because some idiot shot it with a gun and thought it was cute. Uh, probably someone that didn't have enough intelligence to realize it was an antique. But anywho, yeah, all right, I get mad sometimes about that kind of stuff because there's not many of these left when it comes to Model T's. Yeah, they made a lot of them, but they got crushed in the that time period uh the scrap drives for world war ii so uh, i get really mad when i when i see people abuse model t's but they won't be abused underneath my porch if you liked my uh video please hit like and subscribe now back to the video look at the differences between the early models these were fringed these were straight so they had these fringes to cool down the cores quicker this was slightly bigger but just by it just by a, a little millimeters not by much but by a couple about an inch or so not too much but that design allowed it to have the flats when it was shorter, it had to have the fringes to cool it down better. So, I'll talk to you ladies and gents later. But I wanted to show you the differences between the low radiators and the high radiators. So that way you don't get stuck with the wrong one.